Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Elite Dangerous in VR. Wow, this is amazing. Um, to try and give you a sense of scale, the Sidewinder, yes, a very small ship. When you look at it on a monitor, you have no distance of size. Being sat in here now, is weird because my body is where my body should be so in my hands and that keyboard is huge if I put my hand down here it looks like I can probably type on it um, the display itself is massive I can't give you a, a size of it but it's huge don't mind if I lean right forward now it's like open your arms as wide as they can go and it's still not wide and this ships quite compact uh, let me try and put my keyboard on the floor a minute. Like so. Right. And then we'll stand up. Look at this. Whoa. See, looking down there, it looks like I'm going to drop. God, I'm. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh. And that's. Oh, we lost tracking. Let's run it back here. Whoa, this is so weird. If I stand up. Whoa. Well, this is weird. I'm not going to lie. But look, how oh, that's huge. That's a big ship. For a Sidewinder, it's tiny, but... That's a good, like, bus length. Like a coach, if you know what I mean. And those thrusters down there as well, they are absolutely ginormous. To give you another sense of size, I know it looks a bit weird that I'm standing through the canopy, but let's pretend it's a convertible. Those fans, I'm pointing like you're going to see, those fans up there, they are ginormous. In the game it looks so small, like it looks like a size of a two pence piece. But here, it looks like one of those massive industrial fans you get. And those pipes going across the ceiling like air ducts, they're massive. And this whole fucking hangar is massive. And this is just a sidewinder. So there, I'll sit back down. Ooh. So cool. It's like, if I stick my hand out now, oops. It feels like I'm touching that box, but I'm not, I'm touching my wall. Beautiful. And that little red thing down there, it looks handheld. It looks like if I hold it in my hand, my hand will cusp the red bit, but the white bit will be visible. I've no idea what that is. And as well, this keyboard, it's on like an arm, if you can see. So it looks like you could probably move it up here. That'd be pretty awesome. And yeah, that door's huge, like life size. If I stood up there, I'll just have to duck a little bit. Wow, and this is the Sidewinder. Look, you can look up, up and over. But look at that. This is what VR is all about. And yes, the resolution is good, but it's not great. I can still see a shitload of jaggies, like anti-aliasing. But there's a way you can fix that, which I need to do. And those lights up there as well. They're really cool. They look 3D. It looks like they're sticking out. This whole thing is just 3D and it's awesome. And that display board looks massive. It really does. And you can never look down there before. Like, look at that. The amount of detail in this is unreal. I have no idea how the game's running. It should be on like 90 FPS. Bear in mind this is with the new GTX 1080. Um, and I'm not using VR High either. Because VR High actually downgrades some of your settings. So I'm, I'm Ultra. And it fucking runs really well. Really, really well. And it, oh, it's fantastic. It's even better when you fly. 
It's just what I'll do, I'll stand up. Hang on, let me find out where my sensor is. It's just in front of me. So let me point this up a little bit more. Yeah, as you can see, I moved. Oh, God, I feel sick. Right, let's reset this. Right, there we go. Right, so let me stand up. And while I'm doing that, let me return to surface. So we are in a convertible. Let's have a look at this. That's ginormous. Whoa. Scheiser. This place is joint. That crane over there is huge. Again, it's the anti aliasing is crap in this game. It really is. Still. Nothing gives you a sense of space, if you know what I mean. Like, it's massive in here. It feels like I'm stood in a football stadium looking up. But the thing is, a large landing pad is about the same size as a football stadium. So you take that into account, this place is ginormous. And the control, whoa, the fucking control tower back there, it's massive. It's a huge ass building. It's shizer. Let's look at this place. This is awesome, it really fucking is. Wow. Right. Sit back down. Ooh, so, this is the sidewinder. It looks like I can grab that handle. Like, my hands are up, so it looks like I'm grabbing them now. That's awesome. Wow. Fantastic. And those screens, they're about the same size. I would say. It's a 20 inch screen, 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 <laughs> screen, 20 inch screen, probably a bit bigger. It's mad. Right then guys, uh, this, let's go down and grab my keyboard. Oh, that's so cool. Right, this is the Sidewinder in VR. Hope you like it. See you next time. Oh, hang on, let's watch that ship take off. Whoa. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Right, where is it? Oh, F9, there we go. Right, thank you. Well, hello again. And this time, we're going to have a look at the Eagle. As you can see, I turned off the... Um, panels so it looks a bit better you can see more again let's put the keyboard back on the old floor <laughs> sorry about this uh, this is the eagle um again this is more like a a fighter it feels more like a fighter again these are just only a, an arm's length away so if i have my arms fully extended now it feels like i am grabbing hold of that so that's how big the space is. Again, if I lean over and touch the edge where that line is, it feels like I'm touching it now. So that's a good five five feet away. Same again that side. Um, there's a drop down there. It's about a ten foot drop. Again, we got some weird um, graphic glitch. Oh shit. <laughs> I can't move my hands about because I can't see. Um, yeah, so... And that wing over there is massive. By the way, this is the Eagle, so you, you can mistake it for a very small ship. And it is. It's a very small ship, but it's huge at the same time. Especially in uh, VR. It gives you a nice sense of scale. Okay, and that cockpit is just massive. It looks like the size of my coffee table. It's huge. Right, again, so we'll stand up. Again, we have a convertible. Well, actually, I might just stay here a minute. Right, look at that. Oh. Oh. 
Well, I'm having trouble with my sensor actually. Um, it's not. Oh god, that's making me sick. It's not um, detecting on my 3.0 slot, so I've had to move it to a 2.0 slot. So it's a bit, a bit weird. Um, but I've got a PCIe slot coming. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop doing that. Yeah, it looks really bloody cool if you if you tell me. That's a huge walkway. It's probably about at least another 10 feet away. And that wing back there is massive. That thrust that you can see there on the side as well. You know what? Nope. Uh, look at that. Like, it gives you a sense of scale. It's huge. Again, I might lose tracking. Because I'm not using the rift for its full advantage at the moment. Not yet, anyway. But it's working. Ah, wow. That's really cool. Really is. And that's the eagle. And this hangar as well is massive. You don't think it on a monitor, but when you're in the 3D world, when you're immersed, it looks huge. Massive, man. I can't explain how big it is. And you're probably watching these videos thinking, yeah, you're just moving your head around. I can't get any sense of scale. But when you're actually inside the rift, oh my god, it looks brilliant. Like the 3D aspect to everything is awesome. Mad. Even my joystick. Oh. Well, my, my head's I've got headless. Every time I look at that, it just makes me feel a bit queasy. Here we are, this is the eagle, and it's great, it really is ginormous. It's a nice looking ship. And you can appreciate the artwork as well that's gone into it. Like the 3D aspect side of things. It's great. Alright, alright then, this is just another quick look at the eagle. Next up, we're just going to get it bigger and bigger. You wait for the cutter. Right, see you in a bit, guys. Alright, hello. Let me just quickly get rid of that again. Alright, so, here's the hauler. Um, a very small ship when you're flying it, but in VR it feels... huge. I, I, I keep saying huge because I can't really explain to you what the size is in comparison. It feels like my the size of my living room. Well, my, my bedroom, shall I say, or spare bedroom. It's actually very compact, it's quite small. Alright, here's another sense of scale, right? you got the bobbleheads over there, and the uh, cooling fans next to it. If you get your fingertips, touch your thumb on your thumb, and your finger on your finger, and then just expand it a little bit, that's how big it feels. It's like a small football, and the bubble heads, it looks like I can grab it with one hand from the body and just shake the living shit out of the head. And this cockpit as well is quite cool. A very, very small cockpit. Again, let me just try and... I'll be going over. <laughs> yeah. I do like those skylights up there. Right, let's stand. Ah, my head. Let's stand up. So now my head is about three inches away from the roof of this ship. I look down and it's so weird. But yeah, that's the uh, cockpit. Very small. It's like a circle almost. Well, that's pretty cool. I can't see over the top either. But yeah. Just a quick one for the hauler. They're pretty cool. They are. Again, you don't appreciate the uh, design of these ships until you are in VR. And 
they say Elite was made for VR and they were not wrong. It <laughs> looks life size. That bubble head is just massive. A Christmas tree is huge. I mean, it's like a full on size Christmas tree. <laughs> not not really, but you get my gist. Um Brilliant. I have no radio. No bloody radio. I've got a shitload of calling fans. Two down there, two there, two up there, two up there. One, two, six there. <laughs> Brilliant. Alright, so that's that. Reset my head position. There we go. That's awesome. I'm sorry if I'm making you feel sick, just move my head around so I'll try and go nice and slow. And I don't suffer from nausea as well. So I don't I haven't got VR sickness yet and I've been in this for hours. At least about four hours. I can go for longer, a lot longer. Brilliant. I need to change my HUD colour. Because I can, I can probably make that a little bit better. In different colours. It's so weird just moving your head around looking at these screens. Burnett's Orbital. But I will say this. The Galaxy Map. Because the Galaxy Map is rendered in 3D as well. If I want to go to uh, Chantonieri. My mouse is on it, but it's not coming up. And this is a pain in the ass to try and get this to work. And even if you go up here and type in dash R, up oh, that, where is it? There it is. Blind typing. Right. I can't can't click on it. I can't plot a route through this. Um, and it makes navigation impossible. Like you can't. If I want to go oh, to Nahet, I have to come here, memorize some system names, and do it that way. See now I got this. It locks onto one. But rubbish. But when you zoom out, it gives you whoa. Feels like I'm stood here on the galaxy, right on the edge. So yeah, I can't see where the fuck's that to. <laughs> I'm not even looking at that. There. Alright, what about if we try and go to hip17515? Nope. Even if I get it straight in here, zoom right in, still nothing. Nope. It's rubbish. It doesn't work at all. Alright, uh, this is the hauler. Um, pretty bloody cool if you ask me. Lovely ship, but unpractical. And I will see you in the next video. Well, here we are in the Viper Mark III. It's a nice sized ship. Um, feels more like a fighter ship as well. It's actually quite big in here. It's a bit thinner than the hauler I say. Um, to the far wall over there it's probably about four four three four feet. The same with that side. Um yeah my body if I touch my stomach it just feels like it's there. If you know what I mean. But I feel very small, like short. I don't I feel a little bit short. Feels like this guy's in about four foot tall. Um, right, so let's stand up again and have a look at the Viper. That's pretty awesome back there, isn't it? Got some bacon strips. 
But now I can clearly see that they are handles, not bits of bacon. Because that's the thing. If, if bacon was that size, that would be huge. That's a big bit of bacon. But yeah. Um... <laughs> Standing up. Wow. Ooh. Hello. My hard points are undone. Ah. Uh -huh. I found some glitches. Hello. Where's my coverage to? Someone stole them. But yeah, that's massive. That um, pipe there looks like a nice weapon. Like if I had that in my hand, it's like I can hold it from head to toe. If you know what I mean. It'd be about five foot long. Ooh, that's cool. Body's weird, but that's bloody cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I do like it. It's a nice compact size to the door. It's probably about six feet, not not that long. Wow. Is that a bit of paper on the floor? Oh no. That's so cool. You can just look around. The cutter is really weird, especially where the seat is. I actually felt like it was, I was really high up in the cutter. Right, so what I'll do, instead of stopping the video all the bloody time, I'll just swap ship now. So that's the Viper. Pretty bloody awesome. This panel here, it, it's bending around my face. Right. Really is. Even if I move my hands in front of my face, it's blocking the sensor, but it's not really doing much with the tracking. It looks awesome. It's really well done. Alright, so. Shipyard. I'm going to take you through most of my ships. We've done a Sidewinder, done Hauler, done Eagle, Diamondback Scout. Here we go. Let's have a look here, shall we? That's massive. That's like a 40 inch, 50 inch TV in front of my face, that is. That's huge. Whoa! Oh my god! Holy shit, man! Now, I'll tell you what this feels like. It feels like I'm in a crane. You know those cranes that you see really tall when they got like the glass cockpit? It's like that, but a lot bigger, a little bit bigger than that. Um, to the roof, that's probably, hang on, if I stand up, I'll do that in a minute. Right, turn them off. Shut up. No, oh, where is it? Uh, there, there we go. Alright, that's massive, that's like a kitchen worktop, that is. Again, the bubble head is huge. Yeah, see, that's what I mean, like, where the keyboard is, you've got that arm coming down and it goes to the floor. That's awesome, you can't really see that. Because you have full motion of your head in this. And you've got cables going under, under the floor there. This is brilliant, because that's lifting up, that's a, a platform, and then you've got the gap underneath. I have to be careful not to hit anything on the way down. Oh, wow. Shit. That's awesome. You've got the control panels back there, the door, the air vents, fire extinguisher, that's like a real size fire extinguisher. Oh, I'm sorry if you can hear that work that's going on outside, like a grinding noise, I apologise. But this is awesome, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Right, so we'll stand up. Um, right, ceiling time. If I reach my hand up, extended fully, and it feels like I've just got my fingertips on that bar. Well, my hand grabbed around the bar. If I lean over now, leaning over, full hand extension, it feels like I'm grabbing that, that ledge. And that's like a proper size as well. If I have my hand there, it'll be about a couple in, uh, about an inch um, grip left if I have my hand there. But this is insane. Get ready for the turnaround. Whoa! Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? And that door is massive. It's like, it feels like I'm on Star Trek. It's, you know, you go towards the door and psh, opens up. 1234 is the password. I can actually read it as well. 1234567. 
um, star zero hashtag. That's awesome. Again, sensor isn't really too well, so I need to plug it into a USB three. But um, yeah, so far it's working. Awesome. Again, that fan just looks fucking massive. It looks huge. Well, oh, shit. All right, I have to try not trip over these fucking cables. <laughs> All right, let's sit back down. There we go. Awesome. Reset. Perfect. All right. Yeah, that's a nice. That's a nice view, actually. It actually looks really good. Right, next ship. Let's do the Cobra. So what have we got left? We've got the Asp Scout, Vulture, Asp Explorer, Imperial Clipper, Type 9 Heavy. That's going to be a good one. I haven't actually been in there myself. The Anaconda and the Imperial Clipper. George Young. Um, right, so Cobra Mark Three. Oh shit! What's on my dashboard? <laughs> Fuck Xmas. <laughs> That's how long I haven't been in this ship for since Christmas. <laughs> Us. Wow, okay, right, let's turn off the bloody panel crap. Fuck Xmas. Fuck Xmas. That's huge. Like that. That's some big lettering right there. Like that's. Ah, that's, oh God, that's, I can't say how big that bloody sign is, but it's massive. Wow, oh my God, this is the Cobra. This looks really good. There's a cockpit there. You have a chair, I mean. That's awesome. I haven't got the python. So I think I might have to buy the python just to have a look inside it. Wow, that's awesome. Can we look over the edge? Oh, wow, yes, we can. Oh, wow. That's where the weapons come out of. That's Ginormous. Alright, careful to stand up. Ah, oh, Shiza. Look at that. That's brilliant. Again, yeah, tracking's going all to shit, but yeah, it's good. Fucking stop it. Bloody awesome, that is. That's just really cool. Look at that. I can lick it if I wanted to. Um, yeah, this is the Cobra. It's, again, you can't get a sense of scale through the game for a monitor, but in the Rift, it's unreal. It really fucking is. And that's crazy. What does that say? Set mode. Ship uplink established. Again, it's got like USB slots. Is that my heating control there, is it? F012. Oh, I didn't recognise those lights there. There's three little lights. Well, two, two of them are on, the middle one's off. Copy shift. Brilliant. Really cool. And that dashboard as well, it feels... Alright, oh, actually, it feels like a nice size. That's that's far away, that far corner. That's at least. four feet, five. Yeah, about, about six feet away. Brilliant. You've got the gap underneath that 
bit there as well, like where his feet are. And the thing is, it's um, it looks like you can hide a body under there with quite ease. All right, then this is the Cobra Mark Three. I showed the Cobra Mark Four, but it's the exact same. I haven't got it. Those steps as well. They look like steps. That's fucking brilliant. Stuff looks like stuff, and it's really good. Got those drawers over there as well, which looks like they pull out. A D lacy thing. Man, that's cool. This really is cool. I'm glad I got this thing. A long wait, but I finally got it. Expensive, but yeah, I got it. Awesome, I would highly recommend this. Even though the resolution isn't it's good, don't get me wrong, like it tricks your senses that you're actually there. But again, I still feel about four feet tall. Alright, anyway, next ship. Asp Scout. I could show you this, and then I can skip the Explorer. Because the cockpit is the exact same. Again, that's massive, right there. Whoa, mama! Holy fucking moly. That's... Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Man, fuck me, that's really wide. This shit feels massive. So if I was stood up over there, I reckon my head will be just under the C2. Just underneath it. And that's crazy. If I wanted to, I could probably walk around here later on when I get my uh, PCIe 3.0 port. So I have got 3.0 ports for my computer, but for some reason it wasn't working. So yeah, that's fucking huge. Again, that's standing up. Getting that back there as well. That's the... Ha ha ha. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to touch this roof on this ship. That's huge. That's really high. And the view as well is fantastic. I need to go exploring, I really need to. In the in the rift, that'd be insane. I can only let's see what we can do here. I can only move to about here, and that's it. But that's about it. That's crazy. Look at my seat. Never in a million years would I think to get on the floor of an asp and look under the seat. Wow. How is this tracking me? I have no idea, but this is insane. I'm on my knees. Wow. Wow. Right. Whoa. <laughs> this is cool. It's a very cool feeling. Uh, where's my... There's my seat. My seat's in the seat as well, so I can always find my way back. Brilliant. Brilliant. Wow. See, I can't read that. Warning, maintenance not accessible while engine is running. It's very fucking blurry. It really is. You can just make it out. But you have to imagine the writing like on the pixels here, they are so small. And this is, bear in mind, there's two screens in front of your eyes. And this is blown up with lenses. And it looks cool. I can't understand how cool it looks. That, that over there, it looks fucking huge. Well, that door is where it says 3D. Someone could come out that door and lean on that railing. 
Oh, it's fucking brilliant. This place is massive, it really is huge. Fuck, you know. I can't wait to walk around, I really can't. Again, those fans. Ah, oh, they're fucking massive. This is awesome, guys, it really is. It really fucking is good. I can just do this all day, just sit here without even flying. Oh, and you wait till I get into combat. Oh my god. Right. Anyway, next ship. Restock. Oh, fuck, Xmas. <laughs> That's how long I haven't flown the Cobra for. <laughs> oh, so shit, God. Vulture. So, yeah, the Asp Explorer. I've got two of them. One's a smuggling ship, one's an exploration ship. Vulture. Mother of God. That's huge. Oh, fuck me. Look at the size of that. Absolutely ginormous. Huh. Yeah, this is huge, guys. Caution. Exposed. It can cause... Serious injury exposed. Yeah. Ow. Moving part. What, that fucking huge part there is a moving part? <laughs> I don't know about that. Wow. Right, so let's turn off the old dashboard. That's a nice display, that is. That is a nice display. Alright, let's put my thing on the floor. Yeah, this is mad. I hope I'm recording, am I? Yes. Yeah, this is huge. Pretty much, if I spread my arms either side, I reckon my fingertips would just be touching the O's edges if I was stood there right in the middle. Actually, I don't reckon it will. About a foot. A couple of inches gap. Right, so let's stand up and have a look. Oh, wow. Well, fuck me. The size of that shield booster. That is ginormous. It's like a fucking railgun. Oh, I'm sweet mother of god, that ceiling is really high up. That's a nice look. No wonder why the cockpit shatters so quickly on the Vulture. It's because that's all there is at the front of the ship. It's just glass. Fuck me. Lights. I can read that. It's all blurry, but I can read it. Wow. Let's move around just to the side. Again, this is... That's a nice. Co I'm, I'm gonna go fighting in this in a minute. Wow. There's a good. So you, you don't get to see this at all. It's a shame, really, because it looks so good. That's that's really high up. But it's, even if I run and jump, I still won't reach that. Wow. See, they got those little cables coming out. Another cockpit. So if I go over here, you see on the side of the chair, there's another joystick. That looks pretty cool. You've got the panels up there. I can't wait for multi-crew, and I want to be sat in that seat in VR, because I think that would look fucking awesome. And like, it'll be good is that when you create your avatar as well, you'll actually get a head. So... If I'm in VR and I stand up out of my co-pilot seat and I look over and there's my mate, the sense that he's there is real. Like I would, if I'm talking to him, I'll look at him and like, yeah, right, mate, how you doing? Like, yeah, should we go do this or what? And it, it tricks you and it's really fucking good. 
it really is good wow this is awesome got a box down there that's, like a, that's not a box that's a chest that's massive again let's have a look underneath again not trying not to break anything on the way down Ooh, look at that oh we lost tracking there it is wow hello little man yeah he's about fucking that's a child that is how small he is I can like carry him poor fella yeah this needs to be bigger his legs need to be bigger my chest is a lot bigger than that as well because I've got man boobs uh, but yeah that's brilliant those straps are massive reinforced awesome and it's actually com really comfortable on your head Oh, that's my wall. Oh, fuck me, that's awesome. That's really cool. I got a new microphone as well. It's um included with the Rift. There's one built inside it. So I hope I sound okay. If not, I really apologise because I will not be re uh, making these. I'm just gonna pray that it's okay. But yeah, that's awesome. Just look at that. Really, that's tall. Right, let's find my seat again. Move over here. And there we are. Back down. And just like that. Yeah. Bro. Try to find my keyboard. Brilliant. <laughs> so it looks like those holograms are coming out of the, uh, the dashboard, but they're not. See? They're just floating there. That's brilliant. And those info panels as well is really close to your face, and yet, well, that's far away. So it gives you a sense of depth. And that's a huge computer screen. Massive. Next ship. Imperial Clipper. I'm going to save the last four for our next episode. We'll make you come back. <laughs> right then, people. Thank you for watching. The ship tour in VR, and if you're on the line whether or not to get one or not, I would say go for it because the feeling of immersion is real. It feels like I'm fucking sat right in this ship, and the distance and the scale and the size of everything is spot on. That bubble head, like I said, you can grab the body and shake the shit out of the head. <laughs> and I've got quite big hands as well. Not little baby hands like this guy here. A lot bigger than that. But it's, oh, see, I went to touch that panel right there before I hit my keyboard. I didn't break nothing, no. Right. Spot on. I will see you for the big ships. Well, some of them anyway, not all of them. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.